Welcome to part seven of the MongoDB tutorial series. In this video uh, and into the next video, we'll be going over how to build a basic project using PHP and MongoDB. And in this part, in this video in particular, we'll be going over uh, some of the setup that we need to do before we can start using MongoDB inside of PHP. So this video assumes uh, that you have at least some familiarity with PHP and using that to write web pages. Um, but if you don't, then this tutorial should still be very easy to follow along if you have any programming experience. So what we're going to end up making is, well, you'll see here that I have the Mongo shell open and I've created a database and a friends collection, which has five entries um, with names and properties and whatnot. And we're going to end up with this table over here, very simple, uh, that prints out all of the data in our database, in our uh, friends collection. And Hopefully by doing this project, it'll, it'll illuminate to you how the database and the front end all connects and all comes together. So the first thing we need to install is the PHP and Mongo driver. And the easiest way to do that on OS X is using Homebrew. If you don't have Homebrew, then it's very easy to install. You just go to brew.sh and you copy this command right here. And that should, uh, that should install Homebrew for you. And it's not much to worry about. And then from there, you have to, once you have Homebrew installed, you can inv um, get the PHP uh, MongoDB driver based on the PHP version that you're running. Now to find out what PHP version you're running, you need to go to your web server. So I'm running an Apache server. So all my, all of my documents are in this directory. And I'm going, to, I'm going to make a file called PHP info, a PHP, type in my password, and you'll simply type PHP info parentheses and good. And then in a browser, you visit localhost slash PHP info .php, the file we just created. And it will tell us that I'm running PHP version 7.1. So now that tells us what kind of driver we need to install. So, first off, we need to tap, do brew tap homebrew slash php. And then when that happens, do brew install php 7.1 mongodb and that will install the driver that we need. I've already installed it, so it gave me this warning, but it will print out all the, con um, it'll print out a lot more when you install it. The, for the first time. So once that's set up, then all you have to do is go back to your uh, project directory. Um, so again, this is where all my server files or all my project files are located. And what we're going to do is we're going to install something called Composer, which is a dependency manager for PHP. If you're familiar with Node.js, it's very sim similar to NPM. So you want to go to download and follow these instructions and copy these in one by one, uh, each of these commands and it will set up Composer inside for you, um, inside your project for you. And then what you ultimately want to do is, well, you're going to have this composer.far file, and you're going to want to do compo PHP composer.far, which stands for PHP archive, and then require mongodb slash mongodb. And I've already done that, but when you execute that command, that will bring mongodb into your project, and you'll have everything you need to get started. In the next video, we'll be going over how to uh, basically take this project now and then link, now that we have the driver set up, link everything together and print our database contents into this table.